Having made their debut as one of the new playable Vault Hunters in Borderlands 3, Flak's origin still remains incredibly shrouded in mystery. From what we know, they used to be an indexing unit for someone only known right now as the Grand Archivist. For whatever reason, Flack wound up acquiring self-awareness and a thirst for murder. What caused this sudden change in them and any details regarding the Grand Archivist or what their job was is currently a mystery. Good morning, Grand Archivist. Oh, you startled me, Bond. You're rather quiet on your feet for an indexing unit. Yes, Grand Archivist. I have brought the seven scrolls on the Talos Empire you requested, along with your sweetened needle tea. I'm afraid we were out of milk, so I made do with a splash of Greeble snot. Also, I have gained self-awareness, and I thirst for murder. Good heavens! Do not be alarmed, Grand Archivist. Greeble snot is quite mild. You will hardly notice the difference. With their newfound awareness, Flack then began roaming the world in search of self-discovery. Through this journey, Flack came to be confused by humans and their social constructs. Hence, why they prefer the pronouns they and them. Instead, Flack found a connection with wildlife and the animal kingdom. He began to befriend such animals like a jabber, rack, spider ant, and so on in search of what they only refer to as the hunt. It's a belief of hunting as a way of life, and it's all in an attempt to please Mistress Death, who is the personification of death itself. Through their journey, they've actually been spotted on numerous occasions, perhaps not building a worldwide reputation, but a reputation amongst certain areas. I saw them again last night. The foul worm walker, the beast speaker, the wandering killer. I've seen them slay a thousand bandits, but I've never seen their face. I don't even know if they're human. No one else believes me, but I know the truth. They're so damn cool. Hey, you talking to your stupid diary again? How many times I gotta tell you to stop leaving them damn things all over the damn place? No, I wasn't talking to my diary. I was, uh, I was talking to your mom. Yeah. What now, bitch? Nobody talks about my mama. Ah, oh, damn it, I just talked about my mama. And rules is rules. And this is where the events of Borderlands 3 take place. Flack, in search of the ultimate hunt, alongside Moe's, Amara, and Zane, are all recruited into the Crimson Raiders to help take down and stop the Calypso Twins, which they are eventually capable of. Some other fun facts about Flack are there seems to be some connection between him and Zero, as when they met on Promethea, he claimed that Zero looked familiar. But also, the two share similar skills as the Two Fang ability, which causes both characters to use a cloaking ability. And the two both only have four fingers, but considering Flack's a robot, it's a lot less coincidental, though Zero's true origin remains shrouded in mystery as well. Flack also dislikes the texture of tapioca and spends hours on the Echonet watching videos of cool frogs. But for now, that's all we know on Flack. If there are any other characters you'd like to see me do the history of, then be sure to let me know in the comments below, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.